All right, guys, welcome to Worship the King. I've got a pedal board that I've been putting together for the last few months, and I've performed on it, and I've tweaked it, and I just got a couple new ones for the end of the year. So I wanted to give you an overview of my pedal board as it stands right now, how I'm using it, and just the overview of what I'm doing. I'll show you a few of the tones. So this is a real quick walkthrough overview of my pedal board. So if you're getting into this, which I am just getting into pedal boards. I've been using a Line 6 pedal for most of my life, or at least the last five or 10 years in church, and just easier to plug it in. But um, I find this to be easier. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, my buddy's like, What's, why is that better than this? You know, he was on stage with me, and I'm like, I, I, I don't know. It, it's to, it sounds better to me. It sounds more organic. It sounds more real, you know, to me. Uh, but I know that there's a lot of amp modelers out there, and I've used them, and I, and I think they sound good too. Uh, but this is uh, the best thing for me on this is I've been able to pick each pedal, and I've been able to just dial them in real fast and plug them into my amp and get a really good, just a good tone that pleases me. So for that, I'm grateful, and I'm glad that I'm selling my Line 6 uh, pedal. Probably, I, I mean, I kind of want to sell it. I don't want to sell it completely because I kind of like it, but... Um, I'm probably going to sell it just because I'm probably not going to go back to it. So this is the pedal board that I'm, I'm showing you here. I have a Ernie Ball Jr. volume pedal. Then I have a Moog, I believe, expression pedal. See? I go into my compressor first, out of my thing, into my compressor. Out of my compressor, into my Ibanez Tube Screamer. Out of my Tube Screamer, into my cat, uh, uh, what is this, Crazy Cats, Cactus, Crazy Cactus pedal, which is an amazing pedal on Amazon very inexpensive like 35 bucks and it's the one I use all the time it's also the one that's making all that hiss um, then I go out of this uh, drive here into this giga delay which I'm still kind of learning how to use this bad boy sounds good though out of the giga delay into my MXR uh, M300 reverb which is actually controlled by this pedal so I'm going to show you at the end how I control my reverb delay uh, length of reverb with this pedal right here so into my MXR reverb, and then up into this digital RV5, which I use mostly on the modulate setting, just to give my guitar an awesome tone. And then right now, I'm going into this Donner octave pedal. It's an octave up or down pedal. I think I'm gonna move this to the front of the chain though, but for now it's there. All the way at the end, I've got my Sonic Stomp, which is like a big, fat, awesome EQ pedal. And uh, that is what my, my thing is. So the biggest, the most exciting thing is, now the polytune comes off of here, so the tuner stays on the whole time. Whether you can hear my guitar through the amp or not, I can tune my guitar anytime. I don't have to step on it or anything. It's, it's always on, so that's good. Uh, then, my compressor, I showed you that, that went through that. Here's the, the, the exciting thing is, very inexpensive full tone, or full tone two, or whatever, full drive copy from China. Check it out. So, volume. <laughs> That's my tube screamer. Let me check. And if I want a little more boost, I can just go here. This is a rocking tone. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty bright most of the time. If I want to play rhythm, and just. Uh, the one most important thing before I forget it, to get all of this tone, I'm going through the A D. 30 VTXL. It's a Valtronics Vox amp. It's basically it's got like a tube, tube amp up front, but it's a solid state amp on the back. So it's 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 pretty cool. It's it's got all its own settings and everything. The most important thing I think is having a good amp, like not just a good pedals, but you gotta have a good amp. Because tone is gonna come out of that amp. And if it's I've played my pedal board through some cheesy amps, some little ones, and this sounds terrible. You gotta at least get a decent amp. And very in the very front of your chain, you want a good sound, almost clean. So I've got nothing on. If I turn all of this off, pretty much off, except my little, uh, you know, except your delay or your sound, your clean tone should be pleasing to you. That should be your starting point. So my starting point, pleasing tone, right up front. So I've got kind of a. I don't know if I'm overloading my. I'm afraid I was overloading my video. Uh, audio stuff. So then I add my compressor. Gets a little tighter. It's a little spanky, like a little 
normal country, but that's okay. I like that. I like the country pickers. Uh, so basically, that's that's what you want. And then when you add your like overdrive, to me, I like that. To me, it's a clean, clear, crisp overdrive. I got my amp for eighty bucks on Facebook. Okay, so I didn't spend it. I haven't spent a ton of money. Um, my main overdrive is 30, 40 bucks. Amazon, 35 bucks. I got my Ibanez tube screamer from a friend who, he owed me some money, so he just gave it to me. Um, I thought I was going to pay him, but then he said, well, I owed you money. I didn't even know he owed me money, so it was a good day. And then, uh, so that was very cheap. Giga, giga delay, 100 bucks. RV5, 80 bucks. Facebook, uh, 80, 90 bucks. All this, this is my, one of the more expensive ones I paid. 150 for the M MR MX. I've gotten very inexpensive deals. 80 bucks Dynacomp, Facebook. Um, I'll put all this in the description and links if you want to get get on Facebook. But Facebook or Amazon or eBay um, is the way to go. So then, so I've got a real gritty tone. I use my tone knob to roll down if I want. To. Uh, I made my pedal board from wood from Lowe's. Um, I made it. It's real simple. That was it's just uh, simple. Okay, but uh, this pedal has a boost. still is my buzzing on my frets. Well that's your uh, crazy cactus. I mean that's a, that was my neck pickup too. show you the last thing. I'm goofing around with this uh, distortion. Let me show you the most important thing I was excited about and that is the M300 reverb. So if I turn this on and put my heel down on this pedal okay if I want a bigger cavern I just go I push my toe down So you see, I can uh, with this pedal, with the toe, with the heel back, it can. It's really like this. You set it like that, so it's low, so it's a real low decay and a low blend, and you got this. And I'll turn off the delay, just a little bit. So if I push my toe up. cavernous tone and then we put your heel back so this this moog expression is controlling the mxr reverb so that one is controlling that one and that is that is the money pedal that's the one i'm super excited about right now i haven't used it live but uh i'm sure it'll be fun i mean last time i had to like in the, the song there was this part of the song where it was like a big It was supposed to be really just like ethereal, so I had to reach down and like dial in my RV5 real quick. But I 
So I could do that really easy now with the MXR M300 Reverb. Then you push your toe up. So I'll show you how to set that up in another video. But give me a thumbs up, like the video, check the link, thumbs up, then in the link in the description I'll have all my pedals listed out for this pedal board at this time. God bless you guys.